Did you know that the secret to mastering your emotions and achieving personal growth isn't about suppressing your feelings or pretending they don't exist? It's about understanding how to harness them effectively. If you want to truly take control of your life and steer it in the direction you desire, you need to learn how to manage your emotional responses with intention and purpose. In a world where emotions often feel like uncontrollable forces that drive us to react impulsively, the Stoic philosophy offers a refreshing perspective. It teaches us that while we can't always control what happens to us, we absolutely can control how we respond. The ancient Stoics, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and Epictetus, were masters at this, showing us that our true strength lies not in avoiding emotions, but in managing our actions despite them. In this video, we'll explore powerful daily practices rooted in Stoic philosophy that can help you master your emotions and make more deliberate, thoughtful choices. We'll dive into practical techniques, uncover the benefits of these practices, and tackle common challenges you might face. By the end, you'll have a clear roadmap to transforming your emotional responses and steering your life with confidence and clarity. So, if you're ready to stop being a passenger on the emotional roller coaster and become the captain of your own ship, stay tuned. 1. The Nature of Emotions Emotions are powerful, dynamic forces that shape every aspect of our lives. They influence our decisions, guide our relationships and color our experiences with shades of joy, sadness, anger and fear. Emotions are what make us human, adding richness and depth to the everyday moments we experience. From the thrill of a new adventure to the quiet contentment of a peaceful evening, emotions are the threads that weave together the tapestry of our lives. But emotions are not just fleeting feelings. They are deeply rooted in our biology. They originate in the brain, triggered by a complex interplay of neurotransmitters and hormones. When you feel happiness, your brain releases chemicals like dopamine and serotonin, giving you that warm, uplifting sensation. Conversely, when you experience fear or anger, your body responds by releasing adrenaline, preparing you for a fight-or-flight response. This biological mechanism is essential for our survival, but it can also be overwhelming when emotions run high. Emotions are not inherently good or bad. They are signals that provide insight into our inner world and our interactions with the external world. Happiness and love bring us joy and connection, while anger and sadness can highlight areas in our lives that need attention. However, the challenge lies in how we manage these emotions. Unchecked, they can lead to impulsive actions and decisions we might later regret. This is where the Stoic perspective on emotions comes into play, a philosophy that teaches us to understand and control our emotional responses rather than being controlled by them. 2. The Stoic Perspective on Emotions the Stoics, an ancient school of philosophy, offer a unique and practical approach to emotions. They didn't view emotions as something to be eradicated, but rather as natural reactions that need to be understood and managed. For the Stoics, the key to a virtuous and fulfilling life was not the absence of emotions, but the mastery of them. Stoicism teaches that emotions are the result of our judgments and perceptions, it's not the external events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of those events. This is where the Stoic concept of apathia comes into play, a state of being free from the destructive influence of passions. It's important to note that apathia doesn't mean being emotionless. Instead, it refers to maintaining a balanced and rational state of mind, where emotions do not overwhelm or dictate our actions. The Stoics believed that by changing our perceptions, we can change our emotional responses. For example, imagine you're stuck in traffic and you start to feel the familiar surge of frustration rising within you. A Stoic would remind you that the traffic itself isn't what's causing your frustration, it's your interpretation of the situation. 
You might be thinking that the delay is ruining your day or that you're wasting precious time, but by reframing your perspective, you can choose to see the situation differently. Perhaps this delay gives you a moment to listen to your favorite podcast or to simply practice patience. This stoic approach encourages us to take responsibility for our emotions. Instead of blaming external circumstances, we learn to look inward and ask ourselves, what is within my control? By focusing on what we can change, our thoughts and actions, we can cultivate a sense of peace and resilience no matter what life throws our way. The Power of Choice At the heart of Stoicism lies the concept of choice. The Stoics believed that while we can't control external events, we do have complete control over how we respond to them. This is the essence of Stoic freedom, the ability to choose our actions and attitudes in any situation. This power of choice is both liberating and daunting. It means that no matter what happens to us, we always have the option to decide how we will react. Will we let anger consume us? Or will we choose to remain calm and composed? Will we give in to despair? Or will we find the strength to persevere? These choices define who we are and shape the course of our lives. Imagine a challenging situation you faced recently, perhaps an argument with a loved one or a setback at work. In that moment, it's easy to feel overwhelmed by emotions and act impulsively. But Stoicism teaches us that between the stimulus, the event, and our response, there is a space, a moment of freedom where we can choose our reaction. This is where true power lies. By recognizing this space and making a conscious choice, we take control of our emotions and our lives. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus famously said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This simple yet profound truth is the foundation of emotional resilience. When we realize that our happiness and peace of mind depend not on external circumstances, but on our own choices, we become empowered to navigate life's challenges with grace and strength. This doesn't mean that we should suppress or deny our emotions. Instead, Stoicism encourages us to acknowledge our feelings, but not be ruled by them. By cultivating self-awareness and practicing the power of choice, we can transform our emotional landscape and lead a more intentional and fulfilling life. 4. Practical Techniques for Choosing Actions Understanding the power of choice is one thing, but putting it into practice is another. The Stoics offered several practical techniques to help individuals choose their actions wisely, even in the face of intense emotions. These techniques are not only rooted in ancient wisdom, but have also been embraced by modern psychology and self-help practices. One of the most effective techniques is the pause. When faced with a situation that triggers a strong emotional reaction, take a moment to pause before responding. This simple act of pausing creates a space between the stimulus and your response, allowing you to reflect on the best course of action rather than reacting impulsively. During this pause, take a deep breath and ask yourself, what would be the most rational and constructive response in this situation? This moment of reflection can prevent you from saying or doing something you might later regret. Another powerful technique is cognitive reframing. As the Stoics taught, it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of those events. Cognitive reframing involves consciously changing your perspective on a situation. For example, instead of viewing a difficult conversation as a conflict, you could reframe it as an opportunity to better understand the other person and strengthen your relationship. By shifting your perspective, you can change your emotional response and choose a more constructive action. Journaling is also a valuable tool in the Stoic practice. The Stoics, particularly Marcus Aurelius, were known for their habit of daily journaling. 
This practice involves reflecting on your day, your emotions, and your actions. By writing down your thoughts, you can gain clarity on your emotional triggers and identify patterns in your behavior. This self-awareness is crucial for making better choices in the future. Journaling also serves as a reminder of your stoic principles, helping you stay aligned with your values. Visualization is another technique that can help you prepare for challenging situations. The Stoics practiced Premeditatio Malorum, or the Premeditation of Evils, where they would visualize potential difficulties or negative outcomes. This isn't about being pessimistic, but rather preparing yourself mentally for what might go wrong so that you're not caught off guard. By imagining how you would respond to a tough situation, you can approach it with a calm and rational mindset when it actually occurs. These techniques, pausing, reframing, journaling and visualization, are all about creating a gap between emotion and action. By practicing these techniques regularly, you can train yourself to choose your actions mindfully rather than being swept away by your emotions. 5. Benefits of choosing actions over emotions The practice of choosing actions over emotions offers profound benefits that can transform your life. When you make conscious choices rather than reacting impulsively, you create a sense of control over your life. This control leads to greater emotional resilience, improved relationships, and overall well-being. One of the most significant benefits is emotional resilience. Life is full of challenges and setbacks, but how you respond to these difficulties determines your experience. By choosing your actions mindfully, you build the resilience to handle life's ups and downs with grace. Instead of being overwhelmed by stress or frustration, you can navigate challenges with a sense of calm and clarity. This resilience allows you to bounce back from adversity more quickly, maintaining your peace of mind even in tough times. Another benefit is the strengthening of relationships. When you choose your actions over your emotions, you become a better communicator and a more reliable partner, friend or family member. Instead of reacting defensively or aggressively in the heat of the moment, you can respond with empathy and understanding. This thoughtful approach fosters trust and respect in your relationships. People appreciate when you respond to them with consideration rather than reacting out of anger or frustration, which in turn strengthens your connections with others. Choosing actions over emotions also leads to personal growth. When you make decisions based on your values rather than your impulses, you become the person you aspire to be. You start to live a life that aligns with your principles, and this alignment brings a deep sense of fulfillment. Over time, you'll notice that you're not only managing your emotions better, but also evolving into a more thoughtful, compassionate, and grounded individual. Another important benefit is improved mental health. When you regularly choose actions over emotions, you reduce the mental clutter caused by regrets, guilt and anxiety. You create a space for more positive emotions and a clearer mind. This clarity helps you focus on what truly matters, reducing the impact of stress and increasing your overall happiness. Ultimately, the benefits of choosing actions over emotions are cumulative. Each time you make a conscious choice, you strengthen your ability to do so in the future. This practice becomes a virtuous cycle that enhances every aspect of your life, from your inner peace to your external relationships. 6. Common Challenges and How to Overcome Them While the benefits of choosing actions over emotions are clear, the path to mastering this practice is not without its challenges. It's important to acknowledge these difficulties and equip yourself with strategies to overcome them. One of the most common challenges is the intensity of emotions. When emotions run high, it can be incredibly difficult to pause and choose your actions mindfully. In the heat of the moment, our natural instinct is to react. This is where the stoic practice of preparation becomes crucial. 
By regularly practicing techniques like visualization and journaling, you can train your mind to respond more calmly when strong emotions arise. The more you practice, the easier it becomes to find that pause, even in the most intense situations. Another challenge is societal expectations. We live in a culture that often values emotional expression and spontaneity. There can be pressure to react immediately or to wear your emotions on your sleeve. However, Stoicism teaches us that true strength lies in our ability to control our emotions and respond thoughtfully. It's important to remind yourself that choosing your actions over your emotions is not about suppressing your feelings, but about channeling them in a way that aligns with your values. This perspective can help you resist societal pressures and stay committed to your practice. Self-doubt is another obstacle that many people face. You might question whether you're making the right choice or worry about how others will perceive your calm demeanor in a heated situation. In these moments, it's essential to trust in your ability to choose wisely. Remember that every decision you make based on thoughtful reflection rather than emotional reactivity is a step towards personal growth. Over time, this trust in yourself will build and the doubts will fade. Another common challenge is habitual reactivity. Many of us have developed habits of reacting emotionally to certain triggers, whether it's a particular person, situation, or even time of day. Breaking these habits can be difficult, but it's not impossible. Start by identifying your triggers and becoming aware of the automatic reactions they provoke. Once you're aware of these patterns, you can begin to interrupt them by practicing the techniques mentioned earlier, such as pausing and reframing. It may take time, but with consistent effort, you can rewire your habitual responses. Finally, patience is a challenge in itself. The journey of choosing actions over emotions is not something that happens overnight. It requires dedication, practice and self-compassion. There will be times when you slip up and react emotionally, and that's okay. The key is to learn from those experiences and continue to improve. Remember that personal growth is a lifelong process and each step you take brings you closer to mastering your emotions. By anticipating these challenges and preparing yourself with strategies to overcome them, you can stay committed to the practice of choosing actions over emotions. This commitment will not only help you navigate difficulties, but will also deepen your understanding of yourself and strengthen your emotional resilience. 7. Real Life Examples To better understand how the stoic practice of choosing actions over emotions plays out in daily life, let's explore some real life examples. These stories demonstrate how people from different walks of life have successfully applied these principles to navigate challenging situations. Example 1. The Calm Leader Imagine a high-pressure work environment where deadlines are tight and tensions run high. Sarah, a project manager at a tech company, often found herself overwhelmed by the stress of her job. In the past, she would react emotionally to setbacks, whether it was a missed deadline or a team member not meeting expectations. Her emotional responses, often in the form of frustration or anxiety, only added to the stress of the situation. After learning about stoic principles, Sarah decided to adopt the practice of pausing before reacting. One day, when a critical project was delayed due to unforeseen technical issues, Sarah felt the familiar surge of frustration rising. But instead of lashing out or letting her emotions dictate her actions, she took a deep breath and paused. She asked herself, what's the most productive response I can offer here? This pause allowed her to approach the situation calmly and think through the best course of action. She gathered her team, calmly discussed the issues and collaboratively developed a plan to address the delays. Not only did this improve the outcome of the project, but it also strengthened her leadership and team trust. 
Example 2. The Empathetic Parent John, a father of two young children, often struggled with his temper, especially when his kids misbehaved. He found himself raising his voice or reacting out of frustration only to feel guilty afterward. He realized that his emotional outbursts were not effective and were damaging his relationship with his children. After exploring Stoicism, John began to practice reframing his perspective. Instead of seeing his children's misbehavior as a personal affront, he started viewing it as an opportunity to teach and guide them. One evening, when his son refused to go to bed and started throwing a tantrum, John felt the familiar irritation building up. But instead of reacting angrily, he paused and reframed the situation in his mind. My son isn't trying to upset me. He's struggling with his emotions and needs my help. This shift in perspective allowed John to approach his son with empathy rather than frustration. He calmly sat down with his son, talked to him about his feelings, and eventually helped him settle down. Over time, John noticed a significant improvement in his relationship with his children, as well as in his own emotional well-being. Example 3. The Resilient Athlete Emma, a competitive swimmer, had always been driven by her emotions. She thrived on the highs of winning, but was devastated by the lows of losing. After a series of disappointing performances, Emma found herself in a downward spiral of frustration and self-doubt. She realized that her emotional reactions were hindering her performance rather than helping it. Emma decided to embrace the stoic practice of visualization. Before each race, she would visualize various scenarios, including potential setbacks like a false start or a slower than expected time. By mentally preparing herself for these possibilities, Emma was able to reduce her emotional reactivity. During her next competition, when she didn't perform as well as she had hoped, she felt the disappointment but didn't let it consume her. Instead, she focused on what she could control, her training and mindset for the next race. This shift in perspective allowed her to bounce back more quickly and ultimately improve her performance. These real-life examples show that the practice of choosing actions over emotions is not only possible, but also profoundly impactful. Whether you're a leader, parent, athlete, or simply navigating daily life, these stoic principles can help you approach challenges with a calm and thoughtful mindset, leading to better outcomes and personal growth. 8. Scientific Support While Stoicism is an ancient philosophy, modern science has increasingly supported the effectiveness of its principles. The practice of choosing actions over emotions aligns closely with several psychological theories and findings, particularly in the fields of cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, mindfulness and emotional regulation. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, is a widely used and evidence-based therapeutic approach that helps individuals change their patterns of thinking and behavior. One of the core principles of CBT is that our thoughts, rather than external events, influence our emotions and behaviors. This idea mirrors the Stoic belief that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of those events. Through CBT techniques, individuals learn to identify and challenge irrational or unhelpful thoughts, replacing them with more constructive ones. This process enables them to respond to situations more rationally and effectively, essentially choosing their actions over their emotions. Numerous studies have shown that CBT is highly effective in treating a range of mental health issues, from anxiety and depression to stress and anger management. Mindfulness is another area where science and stoicism converge. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment, which can help individuals become more aware of their emotional states and responses. This awareness creates a space between stimulus and response, 
allowing for more thoughtful decision-making. Research has shown that mindfulness practices can improve emotional regulation, reduce stress, and enhance overall well-being. The stoic practice of pausing before reacting is akin to mindfulness, where the focus is on being present and choosing actions consciously. Emotional regulation is a key area of study in psychology that examines how people influence their emotions, particularly in terms of how they experience and express them. Studies have found that individuals who are better at regulating their emotions tend to have higher levels of mental health and life satisfaction. Techniques such as reappraisal, which involves changing the way one thinks about a situation to alter its emotional impact, are similar to the stoic practice of cognitive reframing. Research shows that reappraisal can lead to more positive emotional outcomes and improved psychological resilience. Furthermore, the neuroscience of emotions provides insight into how the brain processes and regulates emotions. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for higher order thinking and decision making, plays a crucial role in regulating the emotional responses generated by the amygdala, the brain's emotional center. By practicing stoic techniques such as pausing and reframing, individuals can strengthen the neural pathways associated with emotional regulation. Over time, this can lead to more automatic and effective control over emotional reactions. In addition to these psychological insights, Behavioral economics also supports the stoic approach. Research in this field has shown that our decisions are often influenced by cognitive biases and emotional reactions, leading to suboptimal outcomes. By becoming aware of these biases and practicing more deliberate decision-making, as the stoics advocated, individuals can improve their choices and avoid the pitfalls of emotional decision-making. In summary, the principles of Stoicism are not just philosophical, they are backed by modern science. The practices of pausing, reframing and mindful decision-making align with evidence-based approaches in psychology and neuroscience, providing a strong foundation for the benefits of choosing actions over emotions. 9. Daily Practices for Implementation Incorporating Stoic principles into your daily life doesn't require a complete overhaul of your routine. Instead, small, consistent practices can help you build the habit of choosing actions over emotions. Here are some practical steps you can take each day to strengthen your stoic mindset. Morning Reflection Start your day with a few moments of quiet reflection. Before diving into your daily tasks, Take a few minutes to think about the challenges you might face and how you can approach them with a stoic mindset. You might ask yourself, what situations today could trigger strong emotions? How can I prepare myself to respond calmly and rationally? This morning reflection sets a positive tone for the day and helps you anticipate potential emotional triggers. Daily Affirmations Affirmations are positive statements that reinforce your commitment to your values and goals. Incorporate stoic affirmations into your daily routine, such as I choose how I respond to every situation or I control my actions, not the world around me. Repeating these affirmations regularly can help reinforce your stoic principles and remind you to choose your actions over your emotions throughout the day. Mindful Breathing Whenever you feel a surge of emotion, practice mindful breathing. Take a few deep breaths, focusing on the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. This simple act of breathing helps ground you in the present moment and creates a pause between the emotion and your response. It's a powerful tool for calming the mind and preparing yourself to choose your actions wisely. Evening Journaling At the end of the day, take time to reflect on your experiences. Journaling is a powerful tool for self-awareness and growth. Write about the emotions you felt during the day, how you responded, and what you could have done differently. 
Reflect on whether you were able to choose your actions over your emotions and what you learned from the experience. Over time, this practice can help you identify patterns in your behavior and make improvements. Gratitude. Practice. Gratitude is another practice that can help shift your focus from emotional reactivity to thoughtful action. Each day, take a moment to acknowledge something you're grateful for, no matter how small. This practice helps cultivate a positive mindset and reduces the tendency to react negatively to minor frustrations. By focusing on what you appreciate, you can create a buffer against negative emotions. Visualization. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing potential challenges and how you can handle them with a stoic mindset. This practice of premeditatio malorum helps prepare you for difficulties and reduces the shock of unexpected events. By mentally rehearsing how you will respond, you can increase your confidence in choosing your actions over your emotions when the time comes. Stoic Reading Incorporate Stoic literature into your daily routine, whether it's a few pages from Marcus Aurelius's Meditations or a quote from Epictetus. These readings serve as a daily reminder of Stoic principles and rules. 10. Daily Stoic Habits to Control Your Emotions Incorporating Stoic habits into your daily routine can help you manage your emotions effectively and cultivate a mindset focused on choosing actions over reactions. Here are 10 Stoic habits to practice daily. 1. Morning Reflection Begin each day with a moment of reflection. Ask yourself what challenges you might face and how you can approach them with a stoic mindset. Reflect on your goals and remind yourself of your values and principles. This practice helps set a positive tone for the day and prepares you to handle emotional triggers with composure. 2. Daily Journaling Keep a daily journal where you document your thoughts, emotions and actions. Reflect on the events of the day and how you responded to them. Consider whether you acted in accordance with your values or let emotions dictate your actions. This habit promotes self-awareness and helps you identify areas for improvement. Third gratitude practice. Make a habit of noting things you are grateful for each day. Focusing on gratitude shifts your perspective from what you lack or what frustrates you to what you appreciate in your life. This practice helps cultivate a positive mindset and reduces the impact of negative emotions. 4. Mindful breathing. Whenever you feel overwhelmed or emotional, practice mindful breathing. Take a few deep, deliberate breaths, focusing on the sensation of the breath entering and leaving your body. This simple technique helps calm your mind and create space between your emotional response and your actions. 5. Visualization. Spend a few minutes each day visualizing potential challenges and how you will handle them using stoic principles. This practice of premeditatio malorum helps prepare you for difficulties by mentally rehearsing your responses. Visualization enhances your ability to remain calm and focused in the face of adversity. Sixth Evening Reflection At the end of each day, take time to reflect on your experiences. Consider how well you adhered to your stoic practices and how you handled various situations. This reflection helps you learn from your experiences and reinforces your commitment to choosing actions over emotions. 7. Stoic Reading Incorporate Stoic literature into your daily routine. Read passages from Stoic philosophers such as Marcus Aurelius, Seneca or Epictetus. These readings serve as a reminder of Stoic principles and provide inspiration for applying them in your own life. 8. Reframe negative situations. Practice cognitive reframing by consciously changing your perspective on challenging situations. Instead of focusing on what went wrong, 
consider what you can learn from the experience or how it can contribute to your personal growth. This habit helps shift your focus from negative emotions to constructive action. 9. Set daily intentions. Start each day by setting clear intentions for how you want to respond to challenges. Define specific behaviors or attitudes you want to embody, such as patience, resilience, or empathy. By setting these intentions, you align your actions with your values and reinforce your commitment to stoic principles. 10. Practice empathy. Make a conscious effort to understand others' perspectives and feelings. Practicing empathy helps you respond to situations with compassion rather than emotional reactivity. By considering others' viewpoints, you can handle conflicts and challenges with greater understanding and grace. 11. Call to action. Implementing stoic practices into your daily life can transform the way you manage your emotions and make decisions. To start, choose one or two of the stoic habits mentioned and incorporate them into your routine. As you become more comfortable with these practices, gradually add more habits to build a comprehensive approach to emotional control. Consider setting a specific goal for how you want to apply stoic principles in a particular area of your life, such as improving your response to work stress or enhancing your relationships. Track your progress and reflect on the changes you experience as you integrate these habits into your daily routine. Remember, stoic practices are about progress, not perfection. It's normal to encounter challenges and setbacks along the way. The key is to remain committed to your journey of personal growth and to continuously refine your approach to choosing actions over emotions. For additional resources, explore stoic literature Seek out communities or forums where you can discuss Stoic principles and consider working with a coach or therapist who specializes in Stoic philosophy or cognitive behavioral techniques. By taking these steps, you can deepen your understanding of Stoicism and enhance your ability to apply its principles effectively in your life. Embrace the journey of integrating Stoic practices into your daily routine and discover the profound impact it can have on your emotional well-being and overall quality of life. In wrapping up, remember that mastering your emotional reactions is not a one-time feat, but a continuous journey. By implementing the stoic practices we've discussed today, you're not just learning to manage your emotions, but also to transform how you interact with the world around you. This process takes dedication and perseverance, but the rewards are immense. Greater control over your actions, improved decision-making, and a life lived with intention and clarity. Drop a hundred if you've watched this far. It's a sign that you're among the rare few who are committed to personal growth and follow-through. If you're truly ready to take charge of your life and make lasting changes, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Join our community of like-minded individuals who are all on a journey to mastering their emotions and living their best lives.